as the battle rages in court over equality of a retinue of new taxes imposed in the Finance Act 2023. The spotlight is now on how billions of shillings of taxpayers' money are wasted annually. The act, which was assented by President William Ruto last week, was poised to take effect on July 1st, but Justice Mugure Dande last Friday temporarily suspended its implementation, pending hearing of the suit filed by Busia Senator Okia Omtata. With additional tax measures, the Ruto administration seeks to raise an additional 289 billion Kenyan shillings to finance a record of 3.68 trillion shillings budget for this year. These tax mes measures include doubling of value-added tax, VAT, on fuel to 16% from 8%. Mandatory 1.5% housing tax to be deducted from the monthly pay of all workers. Despite the squeeze on taxpayers' money, if flushed down the drain or ends up lining the pockets of a few individuals, the Kenyan government has been shouldering billions in commitment fees paid on undisclosed loans, which is significant money, which can be redirected to key projects. Commitment fees are charged on borrowers for credit that hasn't been advanced and is a way of guaranteeing that a lender will keep the funds. The fee is charged because the, the lender has set aside funds for the loan but cannot yet charge interest pending drawn down. In the first half of the year 2022-2023 alone, the Treasury paid 680 million Kenyan shillings as commitment fees, according to recent reporter by the controller of budget, Dr. 